And last week it was a big news week with with Daniel Andrews calling it a day, but also earlier in the week, and it was a bit overshadowed by the Andrews announcement, uh, but uh, certainly in Canberra, it has sent shockwaves through the public service. One of the senior figures, most dominant figures in the public service, unlikely to return to his job over coming weeks. Yeah, we know that Michael Pizzullo was expected not to return as head of the Home Affairs Department after standing aside pending an investigation. He's been caught trying to involve himself in the political process in private messages to Liberal lobbyist and former Scott Morrison confidant, Scott Briggs. Well, in the context of this, we've dug this up from the archive. Mr Pizzullo, in an interview with me in 2020, where he spoke about the importance in, in separation between politics, politicians and the public service. And his comments here, you'll see that they appear somewhat ironic given those messages that have become public about him trying to exert influence in the political process. We know that our job, and it's a great honour and a privilege to be able to sit in those rooms to give that advice, we're always heard out and we always know that in a, in a democracy, not only do we have to respect the, the decision that is taken, but we actively support that as being the right thing. Because in a democracy, our name is not on the ballot paper. I still pinch myself every day to think I'm going into a room with the PM, uh, whether it's Mr Morrison or his predecessors or those who will come in the future, or senior cabinet ministers like Mr Dutton, and I've got the privileged and therefore responsible position to give the very best advice I, ga I can based on the best intelligence information that I have to hand and then respect the decision that they make. You're never in any doubt about who's, who's playing what role. Mike Pizzullo on Sky News a couple of years ago, but very interesting comments made in the context of that story last week. 